Antiphospholipid syndrome, is an autoimmune, hypercoagulable state, which is caused by antiphospholipid antibodies. It is more common in women than men. Antiphospholipid syndrome can lead to thrombosis in arteries and veins. As well as this disease can lead to pregnancy-related complications. Antiphospholipid syndrome can be primary or secondary. The primary antiphospholipid syndrome occurs in the absence of any other related disease. Secondary antiphospholipid syndrome is seen with other autoimmune diseases like systemic lupus erythematosus. While in rare circumstances, antiphospholipid syndrome may present with rapid organ failure due to generalized thrombosis, called catastrophic antiphospholipid syndrome, which is associated with a high risk of mortality. In antiphospholipid syndrome, the most common venous finding is deep vein thrombosis of the lower limbs, while the most common arterial event is the stroke. Other common findings, which may be seen in antiphospholipid syndrome, include heart valve disease typically mitral regurgitation due to Libman Sachs endocarditis, myocardial infarction pulmonary hypertension livedo reticularis Related to the gut, Bud Chiari syndrome, and bowel ischemia. And while talking about CNS findings, there is the possibility of migraine, epilepsy, dementia, chorea, ischemic stroke, and cerebral sinus vein thrombosis. In pregnant women affected with antiphospholipid syndrome, there is an increased risk of recurrent miscarriage, intrauterine growth retardation, and preterm birth, and even placental infarctions.
It is important to note that, antiphospholipid syndrome commonly leads to miscarriages in later trimesters. While talking about investigations, there are three known antibodies anticardiolipin antibodies, anti beta 2 glycoprotein antibodies, lupus anticoagulants. Other lab findings which can be present in this disease are thrombocytopenia. False positive VDRL Prolonged prothrombin time Remember in this case, prolonged APTT is not corrected by the addition of normal plasma. To get an indirect clue of this syndrome, we can check APTT. If the disease is present then partial thrombin time will be prolonged. Moreover, patient will manifest thrombotic tendency rather than bleeding risk. Now we will discuss treatment options. In people without symptoms, no treatment is required. However, in people with antiphospholipid antibody-associated thrombosis, anticoagulants such as warfarin is used to prevent further thrombosis. It is recommended to maintain INR of 2 to 3. Also, remember patients with antiphospholipid syndrome should receive lifelong anticoagulation. Furthermore, anticoagulation appears to prevent miscarriage in pregnant women. Remember, in pregnancy, low molecular weight heparin and low dose aspirin are used, instead of warfarin, because warfarin is teratogenic. Thanks, like and subscribe to our channel for the next coming videos.